Uh, this is a day in the life uh, at Worcestershire High, Artie at the uh, cafeteria where he runs into uh, a lot of the other people who are important in his life there. So here we go. Start on the little cafeteria sign. Today's gruel, cream of tripe. The sad faces moving board down the line. Artie comes into view, looks down at his tray. It's the first slop into the bowl. All the entrails and gruel. A leg of mutton, plop. A roasted capon, plop. <laughs> Yet more humble fare, plop. <laughs> Ladle in. He looks up, and as the crowd parts, he sees a vision. It's Guinevere, the most gorgeous girl at school, moving in slow motion toward the counter. She lifts her bowl lovingly toward the ladle as the gruel is slopped into it. <laughs> Catching this light streaming in through the windows, she loosens her gorgeous golden hair. Artie's besmitten. Even her feet are gorgeous as the gruel rains down. And the rats frolic through in slow motion like a fantasy. The chickens fly out from the background and their feathers form a curtain of love in the sun. <laughs> Guinevere walks up toward Artie, still in slow motion, until, oh, hey, Artie. Artie's still in dreamland. <clears throat> Guinevere, look. Guinevere, we're in the same alchemy class. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, well, I guess I'll see you around. Oh boy, what a loser. Walks away. Artie's lost his big chance once again. He's only got his gruel now. And he walks, bumps right into Lancelot. If I were Guinevere, I'd get a dork restraining order. <laughs> oh, hey, Lance. Artie tries to back away only to run into Bohort and Gawain. They take his tray. This has happened before. You better stop messing with me, worm. This is your final warning, Artie. Yeah, that will make it the last one. <laughs> oh, come on, what's a little joke between brothers? You're not my brother. You're just some kid my parents took pity on. Whatever. Don't forget your place, Artie. Not very likely with you reminding me all the time. As Artie tries to get away again, but the guys block his path. Where are you going, worm? They don't see the trick. He's coming up right behind them. Actually, he's coming with me. Artie looks up. I don't need your help, but Trek's there to stay. Take him. He belongs with the rest of the circus freaks. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of the cafeteria, Puss, enjoying the attentions of the high school ladies, hears this, leaps into action. Pardon me, ladies, but the duty, she calls. I shall return. Gets up, runs down the table, grabs a knife and fork, leaps, somersault, land on a, lands on a nice juicy brisket of beef, jumps up, latches onto a chandelier, dun, 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 spins around, dun, 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 keeps spinning around, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> leaps over the heads of the crowd. The uh, washerwoman with a tray full of dishes, puss lands, <laughs> table surfs on one of the dishes, <laughs> past the astonished diners. <laughs> He spears a leg of mutton from an unsuspecting kid, continues on, leaps, bounces off another leg of mutton, or something. <laughs> Somer somersaulting through the air. <laughs> Bohort and Gawain watch stunned as Puss jams a leg of mutton right into Lancelot's mouth. He lands. Ha! Who are the freaks of the circus now? Donkey's eating at the salad bar. Yeah. <laughs> Who are the freaks now? <laughs> Circlet's on, satisfied. Arthur's a little mortified, but everybody laughs. Lancelot, as he rips the mutton out of his mouth, sees his buddies running away, realizes he's beaten. He gets a trick. All right, Arthur, let's go. He looks around, but Artie's heading out the other direction. Shrek's got to come up with yet another plan. <laughs>